everybody. How's it going? Lewin here at GarageBand and Beyond. Welcome back. Um, today what I want to talk about is how to connect your MIDI keyboard to GarageBand inside your Macintosh using a USB to MIDI converter. Now the one that I have and I really like is this one right here. This is an M-Audio Uno. These typically sell for around $30 and I can vouch you know, for a one by one uh, MIDI to USB converter, it works perfectly. You don't have to power it up or anything. All you have to do is plug it in. Um, so on one end of it, it has a USB cable, and on the other end of it, it has the two sort of, you know, more old school MIDI cables. So that's all you have to do really to hook it up is, uh, you know, one to MIDI in, the other one to MIDI out on the back of your keyboard, and then the USB straight into your computer. So that's pretty much all you have to do to set it up. One thing I will say, and that I highly recommend, is when you hook up the USB to your computer, to make life easier, have GarageBand open already when you do it. Because when you plug this in to your computer, what will happen is GarageBand will recognize that you are trying to connect a new device. It will recognize it as a MIDI device, and it will ask you, would you like me to set up the uh, audio driver for MIDI keyboards? And you just click on yes, and that's it. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to give you the screenshot to show you what happens, exactly that thing I just said. Uh, so let's get to that. All right, so here we are at the typical, you know, new project creation window. Um, you can select any of these depending on the project that you're using. I'm going to select the keyboard collection right now because that's going to give us a bunch of keyboards already loaded up to play with. Uh, let's just call this Uno. Okay, so here's the new project window inside of GarageBand. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to connect my M-Audio Uno to my USB port. And let's see what we get. All right, there it is. The number of MIDI inputs has changed. Now one input is available. I just click OK, and these sounds are going to start to work. Right? Um, so let me just, I'll take you through these really quickly. I can go down to electric piano. Maybe I should turn it up a little for you. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> um. right. uh, classic organ. This is the old Hammond B3 sound. Nice thing about this one is when you're using the sustain pedal on your keyboard, you get the old Leslie sound. Uh, it's not, you know, it's as close as you can get without buying a real Leslie. It's a good one though, I really like that sound. Um, that organ sound with a little bit of distortion on it uh, and mixed properly can pretty much sound exactly like a real Hammond B3. It's a pretty amazing little thing. Smoky Clav is pretty cool. <laughs> Don't write comments about my keyboard playing. I know I'm not the best. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's that for that, um, the keyboards that they give you. Now say that you're doing your own project and you just, you know, you, so you have uh, like a voice track and an acoustic guitar track or whatever running here and you wanted to add a bass track or some drums or something, you go down here to the plus symbol, right? So this is to create a new track and we want to say software instrument and we're going to hit create. Now by default, it gives you the grand piano. Uh, let's just say, for example, we want the bass. I really like this upright jazz bass. I think this one sounds great. Right? That one works really nicely. And the other one is in the drum kits area. Uh, this is really useful, useful for people who, you know, if you can't find a drum loop that's working really well for you, you can create your own drum part. So I'm going to just go ahead and select the rock kit and uh, give you a little demo of what that sounds like. Here's the... Right? So that's pretty much it. Uh, you can select any of the sounds you want to hear. I'm not going to take you through all of them, but there are some really great ones. The strings are nice, woodwinds are okay, you know. 
Um, but that's pretty much it. So that is how you connect your MIDI keyboard to your Macintosh using the M Audio Uno. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and I'll be happy to answer them. I hope it's been helpful. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.